Which you guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to remove um, Medfus, which is a, a browser redirecting Trojan, and uh, we're going to have a look at removing that and where it uh, resides on the PC and how we can get rid of it. Now you can use tools like Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro and other tools like that, but sometimes there's uh, variants where uh, they're not picked up by that at, the, at that p present time and it can be pretty tricky to remove so I thought I'd show you where they are and where they reside and you can remove them manually if that is the case so let's have a look anyway now I'm not going to show you the browsing part of it because obviously I tried this earlier on and it sent me to some nasty porn sites and I don't want to be doing that and recording it and showing you that on YouTube because obviously I'll be banned so what we're going to do here is have a look at the actual process of removal so we're going to go to computer C drive and inside here we're looking for users and then we want to go to the account that's infected i.e. this account is Brightech and we can't see nothing at the moment that's because it's hidden so we need to go to organize folder and search options here I'm going to show hidden files and folders and I'm just going to take this uh, tick out of hide operating system files for now. Now inside the app data which is now visible we're going to go in there and we're going to look inside the local account here and you can see some uh, files inside here. So I can see this is a file that needs to come off and that would have been a hidden file and also this file here which is another file that's related to the uh, Medfus. Now there's probably more than one Medfus on here because I ins installed a load of them to try and get it to work. Um, so these two must come off. So now you may try to remove these like so and it and it may remove them and then sometimes you'll try to remove them and it won't allow you to remove them because they're right protected. So inside here we're going to remove everything inside the temp folder here. Just going to remove that I'm going to skip that bit there and then from from there we're going to go into the roaming folder and you can now see these two files here these DLL files now I'm pretty sure that you won't be able to delete these um, because they're right protected now we could force delete these in command prompt I want to try and keep this simple so what I'm going to do um, is going to rename these files it's going to go straight over and rename those. Now you want to make sure that you can see the DLL part here because we want to overwrite this and you can see what's happened it's it's turned it into a just a file it's still running you still can't delete it yet until we reboot. But what I'm going to do next is just do this one as well and just put that there like so okay so what I'm going to do next is go into local again and uh, we're going to go into Microsoft and then Windows and then we're going to go into 1167 and we can see these files here so I definitely want to remove this from the system now this may also be a, a protected file uh, but if it's not you can remove it going to remove that as well okay so now we've got that done I'm going to go into the registry now I'm going to go reg edit open this up and uh, what we want to do here is go to HK uh, current user I'm going to come down to software then Microsoft going to come all the way down to where it says Windows and then current version then we're going to run and there we can see some uh, files here okay we can see this one here which is which was uh, connected to that DLL file which is this one so we're going to add that out there again you can see this one here which was also related to that other virus so we're going to get rid of that and then there's this one here which was also related to that same one so I'm going to remove that as well and I can see something else here 
and that was in that folder there so we need to go back and just check that before we do that I just want to go to MS config here and check this out for startup and there was that file called there so I'm going to remove that out of the system take this out click OK exit without restart I'm going to go back to that folder here which we missed Guess what was it in I think it was inside here in there and there it was there so we definitely want to remove that from the system as well so now we can re uh, reboot the system and uh, get the rest of this off so I'm just going to quickly reboot Okay, so we're now back at the desktop. So we want to go back to this location here. Inside here, and we should have these two files here now, and we should be able to delete these now. And they're now gone. Okay. What I'm going to do now is run Rogue Killer, which is another cool little tool that you can run to make sure there's nothing left there and clear that what we're going to do is clear the uh, host file and proxy and also DNS. I'm going to use this to remove these areas here. So we're going to run a scan here. There may be something that we've missed on the system. It's inside the run area. Let me see what we can see there. Okay, I can see that that's that file. So that's still there. So we're going to delete those. I'm just going to quickly fix the host file here and the proxy and the DNS just to make sure there was nothing in there now sometimes you do get something with a DNS with this uh, Medfus it just depends which one it is so that's now removed and we can remove these off the desktop I just want to go back here now and hide these operating system files because I don't want to make sure they're not deleted okay so that's now done okay so what we're going to do now is empty the recycle bin and then we're going to run malwarebytes and we're going to run hitman pro I've just downloaded this one so I'm going to run these two we could have run these at the beginning but I'm just showing you just in case Malwarebytes doesn't detect anything which sometimes is the case because it's a new variant um, that it hasn't got in its database yet so we want to make sure that that is how you remove Medfus from the system manually we'll let this run now this may pick up stuff it may not and as you can see that's the scan now finished and Malwarebytes has come back clean so we've manually removed that from the system 
and uh, I just want to give Hitman Pro a blast as well just to make sure that there's none of that stuff left on the system there so I'm just going to put no here and run a quick scan okay so that's the scan now finished it's found two uh, files JRT and also Roadkiller uh, both of these are okay uh, they're removal tools so they're not infected at all and I know that so what I'm going to do here is leave these two and ignore those and then delete the rest which is just basically cookies so there's nothing else on the system um, going to remove that and that's pretty clean so that's basically how we removed Medfus from the system manually and then we just checked it by running that but you could also run this uh, with Malwarebytes as well and we should be uh, free now to the scan, uh, surf the internet and, uh, and not get redirected there you go that's not coming up no more which is good and uh, if we wanted to go to Malwarebytes we should be able to get there now before it wasn't let me get there it was redirecting me all over the place and there you go so that's basically it that's how you remove uh, Medfus a Trojan redirector from your system now what I'd suggest you do is run Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro first to see if that removes it if it doesn't then you can always try to remove it manually like I just did there and they're the sort of locations it will be in okay so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos and I'll be doing more videos again in the future so thanks again and thanks for your support bye for now